hey sweeties welcome back to my channel thank you very much for being here if you are new to my channel please click that subscribe button and put your notification bell on so that whenever i post a new video you get to watch so today i'm going to be showing you how i came up with this so guys i tell you by the time you're done with this project when next you see this kind of top in an african shop if they tell you 10 million girl guy you pay for it without complaining because it's time consuming but it's really worth it so guys if you want to know how to make this by yourself and get to save your cash make sure you watch till the end and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so guys i'm going to illustrate this on a paper so that you see it clearly because if i mark it straight on the fabric you may get lost so this is the shoulder this is the bust line. I'm leaving it at 9 inches because this is a free size top. It is not a fitted top. So that's why I'm leaving it at 9 inches. You don't need a waistline measurement for this also for this project. So you need a hip line measurement. This is not actually where the hip is, but this is where the base of the top is going to sit. And I've added few inch allowance, one and a half inch allowance for creating the channel for the rubber band. So the first thing you're going to mark is your shoulder measurement okay you mark it right there as i've marked this already right there so after marking your shoulder measurement the next thing you're going to mark is your bust measurement you may choose not to add ease to this bust measurement because you're going to be having enough ease as this is a doorman pattern okay so next you're going to move over to the assumed hip measurement okay so here you're going to be marking your actual hip measurement at this area because the extra allowance at this area will help create a kind of fullness to the base of your top so mark your hip measurement right there next you decide the length of your sleeve you want to add to your doorman top so here i decided to mark 11 and a half inches and i'm going to be measuring it from where the shoulder measurement stops okay from this point you measure in your sleeve length know that you can choose to make yours shorter or longer it mustn't be the same length with this okay so after marking the sleeve we'll go over to the next level now to create a slant for the shoulder line the next thing you have to do is to mark down at that point you marked your sleeve length you're going to mark down two and a half inches right there and it's going to help us to make a slant for the shoulder line later on next i'm going to be marking the neckline of this top and the width i'm going to be leaving at four inches on fold okay so i'm going to be marking in four inches right there and for the depth i'm going to be marking in three inches so you can decide to enlarge yours okay it mustn't be at this point so it's going to be a really high neck top that's why i'm leaving it at three inches by four so the next thing i'm going to do now is to create a curve from this point to the width measurement then after this the next thing i did was to slant the shoulder line and i'll be doing it by connecting this point right here to this point next you're going to be measuring your round sleeve especially the base where you want this length of your sleeve to sit you measure it and divide it into two then you measure it into this area you mark from this point downwards remember to add at least half inch ease to your measurement after marking this the next thing i did after this was to measure two and a half inches from the bust line right here downwards and this will help us to create a nice curve at the armpit line of our top so you're going to measure two and a half inches right there and you mark and on this line you're going to be adding one inch to your bust measurement and you're going to be marking it on this line on this new line that you have created that is two and a half inches below the bust line so you go ahead and mark it right there we're almost done with marking the base of this top and the next thing you are going to do right here is to make a connecting line from this point to the armpit line and then 
to the hip line. So now we are practically done with marking the base of this top. And when you finish it, your connection, you should have something like this. And next thing you have to do now is to add your seam allowances. Starting with the sleeve, I'm going to add one inch right here. And around the side seam, I'm equally going to add one inch seam allowance. So the next thing I did was to cut out my pattern after adding my seam allowances. And then I'm going to use the pattern when I'm cutting the fabric to describe to you how to cut the neckline of the back piece. So after cutting the front piece, this is what it looks like, okay? So this is the front piece and I'm going to be cutting the facing right now with this. Now to cut the facing for the neckline, I'm going to be sliding under this main fabric, some piece of fabric like this, and I'm going to be showing you how to make this facing. So here you're going to just mark out the neckline on this piece of fabric right here you're going to measure just one inch from this point to this point okay and then you measure the one inch all around the neckline for the interface and when you are done you should have something like this and then you cut it out and that is the facing i'm going to be using for this project so the second part which is the back piece i'm going to be cutting out the bodice right here and right here I'm just going to measure one inch down right here and I'm going to be cutting it out which makes it higher than the front piece you can make both pieces the same neckline size but I choose to leave mine like this now the next thing is sewing of the facing we are going to place the facing right side to right side to the fabric and then you're going to sew all around the neckline doing this the next thing you are going to do is to notch your neckline all around and then you're going to flip it over to the wrong side of the fabric and then you're going to run a top stitch around it and the facing for the front piece is done you're going to do the same for the back piece and this is it now the facing is done as you can see you're going to go over to the next level so guys you'll be needing a lot of this when i mean a lot i can't really quantify how much you've been needing but you've been needing a lot so the length that we are going to be needing we are going to discuss it later but the width we need two inches when you cut on a strip like this because we are going to be using one inch for hemming for sewing it like this then you're going to be left with one inch that is still folded which is half inch when pressed out so you're going to stitch along this line then to turn this inside out you're going to be needing a needle and thread now to turn this inside out you are going to be putting this needle across the seam line like this okay then you're going to put the bottom part of it into the fabric and bring it out at the other side so guys if you are new to my channel please click the subscribe button below and turn on your notification bell so that you know whenever i upload a new video and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up okay if you're enjoying this tutorial so far so when you get your needle out on the other side as you can see the next thing you're going to do now is to use the tail of the needle like this use it to push some of these fabrics into the hole right there when you successfully move like one inch or two in there then the next thing you're going to be doing is to draw it out you will draw the thread and it will be folding in smoothly make sure you do this gently so that the thread will not snap in the process okay so when you get it out like this so successfully done with that and you have a lot more to go as you can see i've done a lot of this even more than you can see in this video okay so try as much as possible to do this if you want this top so this is an illustration of how to mark the layers on your fabric I keep using this pattern because if I mark it on my fabric, you may not be able to see it. So the first layer is going to start by the fourth inch from the shoulder line right here. So that is where the first layer is going to start. And then the second layer is going to come five inches after it, and then five inches after that, and then five inches after that, and so on. 
so i'm going to be making just three layers but if you need the fourth one you can go ahead and make it but i'm stopping at the third layer so this is what it looks like when i finally marked it on my fabric and as you can see there are other lines in between this line that are pink in color and these lines i'm just going to use it as a contrast when i'm going to be placing my fabrics in so here for the length of the fabric that you're going to be marking for the strips okay this spaces are five inches so we need six inches times two which is 12 inches right here and then you are just going to be marking 12 inches for each length of the strips we are going to be laying on these layers okay now to go over to the sewing proper the first thing i did was to hem the sleeve of my blouse that is this area i'm going to be hemming it first before i start sewing then i'm going to show you how to lay your pieces on these layers we created earlier on okay so let's get going when you are done hemming the sleeves level we'll go over to the next level now after hemming your sleeve the next thing you're going to be marking is half inch along each of these layers and each half inch you're going to be counting like four bars and giving it a longer stroke after each four bars okay after each four bars you give a longer stroke and this is a just an illustration of how i did mine you can always come up with yours to lay in the fabrics the first thing i did was to start from this point here okay then after this point the tail of this layer is going to go to the after the first bar the second bar that is like this the first of the second bar like this so first to first as you can see then i'm going to slide in another from below you can go above you can go below but i feel it creates more like an entanglement when you go under okay i like the effect you can just you know mix up things and see which is better for you so then the tail of this one will equally go as a second in the next bar as you can see then for the third one i'm going to be sliding in like this from under both of the fabrics like this and i'm going to be placing it on the third bar here okay so i'm going to move it over to the other side and still put it on the third bar like i did for the others so as you're going to be doing this on your fabric make sure that you pin at least one layer be before you start sewing then for the final piece i'm going to be putting it there then the tail will still go to the final bar at this point right here so uh, this is how i'm just going to lay it on my fabric from one layer to the other so join me okay so when you're done doing this you're going to go over to the next level after stitching this i'm equally going to show you how to cover up the rough edges on these areas okay so the next thing i did was to pin this same illustration on my fabric and this is what it looks like so guys when i'm done with this the next thing i'm going to do is to cover up the upper part of this laid out fabric which is at this point from right here okay i'm going to cover this up with a strip of fabric so to do this what i did was to place one of the strips of fabric on top of this area and i'm going just to run stitches around it from this point to the other point i'm going to be double stitching it okay i'm going to move my camera closer later on to show you how it looks now to finish up the tip of this fabric you just laid in right here what you have to do is to cut this tip like a slant okay you're going to be cutting it slantly to reduce the bulkiness first before you now fold it on the worst 
and then sew like this after cutting in some of it you're going to stitch it like this and that's how you're going to be finishing off other ones as well then for the pink line we marked earlier on you're going to be stitching it across this area you're going to lay a fabric on it and you're going to stitch it in this is just to create a contrast between the colors that are hanging out so the next thing you're going to do right now is to go over to the next line and you're going to repeat the same process as we did earlier on on this blue line then for the second line there's a little bit difference right here okay now because this layer is close to the seam line I'm just simply going to measure it in by measuring 6 inches in right here and then 6 inches in from this point also to avoid it catching into the seam line. So I'm just going to repeat the same process I did here on this area as well. So after laying in the strips, this is what it looks like. Okay, you can even double lay each and every one of these if you want more chunkiness to it. Then the next thing you're going to do is to repeat the same process as we did for the first one, which is to close this area with a strip of fabric. So the next thing you're going to do is to sew a strip on the pink line we marked earlier on on our fabric. And when you're done with the layers you want, the amount of layers you want, you should have something like this. And then for the side seam, as you can see, after the first layer, I started moving away from the side seam where I'll be joining my front and my back piece, giving at least one inch away from the seam allowance we marked earlier on so that stitching in will not be difficult. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to place the back and front piece together, right side to right side to each other. And I'm going to first sew the shoulder line with half an inch I will join both sides with half an inch and then on the side seam I'm going to be joining it as well. So after joining this I cut out the excess fabric as you can see here. So I'm going to notch this area especially the armpit area that has curve to it to release tension at the front side. So after this the next thing I'm going to do now or I did was to hem this area with the allowance we marked earlier on leaving about one and each opening so this is it after hemming it and the one inch is still open right here i'm going to insert my needle there with my rubber band on it and i'm going to pass this rubber band like this all around the lower part of this blouse and i'm going to be getting it out from this point also after passing my rubber band, my elastic all around the base of my blouse, this is what it looks like. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to close the channel by stitching both elastic heads together and then I'm going to insert it back into the channel and close it up and my blouse is ready. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you give this tutorial a big thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button. See you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!